I think I just saw the most absolutely ridiculous hidden tip I've ever seen on the DoorDash platform on an order I just completed. Curious on what it was? Well, we're gonna get into it right now. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna paint the picture for you on what's going on currently in my area. We just got over snowfall. It was probably about an inch and a half, maybe two inches, and then it started freezing rain, and then there's a whole bunch of ice, and now it is reading 22 degrees outside. So that's kind of the current state of what I'm dealing with weather-wise. So I got this DoorDash order, which is actually right here. It was $15 plus catering bag required and it was going 6.7 miles for items. So those of you who are not familiar with the large order program, I am in the large order program, but if you're not familiar with it, it just means people that are in the large order program are prioritized for orders subtotaling from the customer over a hundred dollars and it's usually indicated with catering bag required which is what is on this order so DoorDash took away to subtotals over a year ago most depressing day ever I'm being dramatic but I don't know the subtotal on this because we don't know subtotals but I know it's at least over a hundred dollars so I'm thinking okay fifteen dollars plus pretty decent order pizza place and when I got the order it was actually four large pizzas okay so pretty pretty decent order it's an okay order so we'll take it that it's probably my guess hundred dollars hundred and ten dollars yeah could be somewhere around if I had to guess. So roads are a little on the slick side and I already made up my mind that I was going home after this order just based off of the road conditions and how slippery it's getting outside. Not that it's snowing anymore. Pick up the order on my way, drop off the order. You ready for it? I feel like I need like a drum roll of some sort for dramatic appearances. The order ended up being $15.05. <laughs> yeah, so let's break this down a little bit because I think there's kind of two things going on. First of all, was I expecting more? Yes. Would I have taken this order at $15.05 going six miles? Yes, just based off of it would be more than $2 per mile in indoor dash standards. That's pretty decent. So I would have taken it regardless. I guess the problem I have is customer's appreciation for drivers when you're ordering during any kind of weather condition. In this case, it's ice, it's snow, it's 22 degrees outside. Normally, if you order over $100, depending on DoorDash, they could suggest to the customer a 15% tip, a 20% tip, that's usually where they start at, and then the low side, it's 10%, and on the high side, it's 25%. Those are usually the four increments that customers usually choose from. And then if you're a real a-hole, you change the tip to none of that and you go lower, but that wasn't the case here. So my guess, if I had to guess, this customer tipped like 10% of the order, that would be my guess. If it was $100, they'd probably tip 15% of the order, which it's okay. Me personally, I would have liked to have seen it higher. I know me personally, I would have tipped higher based off of the weather conditions and my expectations of someone coming to my house during something like this that's going on outside. Now, what I failed to mention on top of that is their sidewalks weren't shoveled. <laughs> their driveway wasn't plowed or shoveled. It was literally a sheet of ice. And the only thing I kept saying was, is 
Kim don't fall, Kim don't fall, Kim don't fall. Because I had visions of me literally busting my butt on their sidewalk and there goes their pizza. But at that point, I felt like it would have been their fault just based off of them ordering food and them not taking care of their sidewalks or driveways. Anyway, so here we are. That's the customer, you know, issue. I just think me personally, if it was me, I would have done more for the driver being out during weather. I think for me, I have different expectations as a driver when I am out here trying to make money, but that's just me. You know, customer is allowed to tip whatever they want to tip because that's what they decided to do. I'm the one who took the order. I own it and I get it. I think this is the part that I'm a little bit more upset about. Five cents. What was DoorDash's purpose of hiding five cents? Really? You couldn't have just shown the entire tip up front? And I think this is what frustrates me the most with DoorDash and this being absolutely the most ridiculous hidden tip I think I've ever seen is I feel like these are the mind games that they play with drivers a lot of the times. Because when you look at this order, it's a diamond order, it has a plus sign, man. You look at that plus sign and you think great things are to come as a driver. And not all good large order program, catering bag required orders, not every diamond order ends up being like a fantastic, like boom, order and that was the case but I just don't understand the games that DoorDash is playing that they need to hide five cents and I know it's probably an algorithm thing and I think I've said this before in previous videos but I feel like you need to get your act together because this does not sit well at least with me so I'll say it doesn't sit well with drivers because it doesn't sit well with me at all do any of you guys feel the same way? Like, I just feel like this is just some of the games that DoorDash plays with its drivers and they really are mind games. So you're gonna have to let me know, is this the worst hidden tip you have ever seen from DoorDash or have you even seen any worse than five cents hidden tip? Five cents, I just keep saying that over and over again. And I don't know whether I would have even, no, knowing me, I would have. I would say I don't know whether I would have been this upset if, just because of the weather that's going on. But no, if it was a sunny, bright, 80 degree day, I think I would still be upset over the five cents because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. I feel like I'm saying the same thing over. So I'm going to stop repeating myself and I'm going to go and go home into the warmth and get myself all nice and toasty because I am not toasty out here working right now and someone's lights are blaring in my face right now. So guys, thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today. Everybody, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're driving, stay safe out there, stay warm out there. And don't forget, kindness is always free. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.